Okay, so we are here in the vineyard. We are looking at uh, shoots and doing some shoot thinning. This year, with uh, the cold weather that we had that uh, killed a lot of our buds, we ended up having a lot of regrowth either from secondary tertiaries, but also a lot of the adventitious buds that you can find right here in the base of the colors of the what we left as spurs. So you can see here how there's one coming out of there. So what do we do when we have this jungle here and how do we deal with it? And this is gonna be key for uh, all of the growers that this year had some damage and they have very uneven vines. So the, I would like, please do not skip on this task. So what I uh, would recommend is go back to your centers of growth. So the first units that you left uh, last year and make sure that for each one of those points, you still have two shoots. And so how do you choose those shoots? So here's where you know it will require a little bit more work. So if you see the spur that is right here, we have one, two, three, four. We have four shoots coming out of there. Now, they're not all at the same level of development. This is obviously a primary. It's much more developed. This is Petit Pearl. You can see the two, the two inflorescence here. They're gonna become the clusters. And you can see here's another one also that is coming from a non-count bud and here as well. So for this position here, I wanna leave two shoots. Now, if I leave all the shoots are on the very end, on this section here, what's gonna happen is that spur is gonna get longer and longer and longer. And so next year I'm gonna come and I'm gonna prune here. So my spur is gonna be this next year. And so the shoots are gonna come out of here and I'm like moving away from the center of the, the, the main quarter. And I wanna stay close to the corner. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna remove this one that is in the very base. It's very behind. You can see a per barely you have your, your, your inflorescence there. I'm gonna remove this other one on this other side and I'm gonna keep these two. Why? These two seems to be the most advanced, but also this one is gonna make a great spur for next year. So next year, what I'm gonna do is gonna come here, I'm gonna cut right here, leave my two buds, and I'm gonna remove this old and take all this section out and let this be my new spur for the following year. So those are the kind of decisions that you have to make as you go through the cordon. So here we are in a similar situation. We have, uh, you know, there were two spurs left here. We have three shoots. We need to decide which one we want. And this is obviously a primary. It's much more developed than the other two. So I'm just gonna pick one of these two. This one seems that has bigger clusters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And in this position, I only have two shoots. So it's great. I'll just leave it there. My next, uh, my next spur or center of growth has four different, uh, actually has five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just remove and leave what I want and I think that looks the best, taking in consideration how advanced they are in their stage, but also their position. So I'll remove this one and I'll probably remove this one and this one. So I'll keep these two and I'm gonna spur there next year. Um, the next one has three, but this one is very behind. So I'll just go ahead and remove it. This one has just two, so I'm gonna keep those two. These ones have a lot of growth uh but this one is very behind and this one is very behind and between these two they both look very similar i much more like this position because this one is going into the other position so there you go my two this down here only has two so i'm gonna keep them both my next spur is very long and it's not in a great position so i'm gonna try to clean up this section uh and i'm going to leave this one as a spur for next year i like this shoot because it's well developed. I don't like this one. So I'll just go ahead and take it. And then we are at the very end of this cordon and we need to clean up here. Um, there's two very close spurs. There's a lot of shoots here and I don't want that many. So I'm going to remove this one and this one and I'm going to keep these two for this center. And that's how the cordon now is uh, clear with each center of growth has two shoots. In this case, they all have clusters. They're either primary or secondary shoots any tertiary here but in other especially in the marquette and front and neck we did see a lot of tertiary shoots coming out uh, and that's it that's what that's what you're supposed to do i know it's a lot of work but it will really pay off to have fruit that is going to be consistent that is going to ripe at the same time open canopies remember i know it's been dry by diseases having a dense canopy is a big problem uh, and the more shoots you have the longer those classes are going to take to um, to ripe and then you have overgrowth and we have to deal with the consequences for the following year so this task please don't skip it